Welcome to the Whiskey Vault, I'm Rex. And I'm Daniel. And today we're diving into a single pot still Irish whiskey. Now I know this is green spot Irish whiskey. And I know this is green spot Irish whiskey, because I've, <laughs> I've never tried it. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Let's see. <laughs> you know what I've told you, essentially. Here we go. All right. What do we got? Anything interesting on this whiskey? So this whiskey is made in the old style of Irish uh, pot still whiskeys prior to column stills kind of taking over production on large batch and, and owned by Mitchell family. They're trying to make it the same way it was made back in the 1800s, early, like 1805. Yeah. And uh, this is one of the Irish whiskeys that taught me what Irish whiskey is capable of. I always sort of thought Irish whiskey was something that was easy to drink, friendly, but not really that complicated or interesting. Right. That's because I didn't know what I was talking about. Oh. Now I will tell you, there are two things I get on this, on this whiskey. The first one is going to be obvious. The second one happened to me as a flashback. The first one is this is the most dramatic green apple, Irish whiskey, that I've ever tasted. Taste Caramel it. green apple. Caramel green apple, because the one we just had, that was more green apple on the nose. Right? Mm -hmm. More sour. Yeah. This is not sour, this is all sweet. Oh, that's so pretty. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm gonna name another flavor, and then I'm gonna give you a short bit yeah. of uh, how your brain works, which should help you during tasting. Okay. Okay? Coconut. Hmm. Like a coconut cream yeah. Creme brulee, coconut, uh, yeah. cream pie. Yeah, I was about to say um, kind of like an icing, mm -hmm. but with specifically a little bit of coconut. Yeah. I was about to say, you're going to say, I'm going to tell you one word. It's, like, it's, it's icing, right? No, it's, it's coconut, coconut icing. Coconut yeah. icing. Yeah. So uh, now you get the smell of coconut in this. Mm. This is a fantastic whiskey, by the way. As a matter of fact, they make green spot and yellow spot. Yellow spot is 12 years old. Green spot isn't. I think Green Spot is a much more interesting whiskey than the Yellow Spot. Same distiller? It's cheaper. Um, it's the same same people same doing the same thing. I give us more generous pours than you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gonna limit our video production takes here. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened to me was I drank this whiskey for probably three years, and then all of a sudden one day I was just drinking it while talking mm -hmm. with friends, and I was sitting in the corner, I wouldn't say anything, and I just picked the whiskey up because I'm always in the habit of holding my whiskey like this because I'm a nerd. <laughs> and um, instantly I had this flashback to childhood. And uh, remember when you smell, your senses in your nose, they go straight to memory and emotion. Mm -hmm. They bypass critical thinking. So the first thing your right brain, is, which is your right brain, that's right imagery and things like that. Yeah. The first thing your right brain is going to try to do is match it to something it already knows. And so when you smell, your brain will speak in patterns and symbols. Whereas when you taste, your brain will go to your left logical section mm. to try to understand what's happening in a clinical fashion. Yeah. Right? So if you, if you smell, your brain, the first thing your brain's going to do is go, what does this remind me of? Icing. Right? Now, yeah. your, that wasn't your left brain going, clinically, icing is made up of butter and cream and whipped into it. No, no, no. You're, yeah. It was just your right brain throwing up the closest thing it could come up with, mm -hmm. right? And so you have, when you're smelling, you have to learn to live in the gray shadow of uncertainty mm. because your right brain is never going to be specific. Your right brain is just going to always give you vague instructions. So I was sitting there and I had this flashback to South Padre Island as a, as a kid at like 10 and 11. Drinking whiskey. Drinking whiskey, <laughs> yeah. Uh, salt water, sun mm -hmm. and the hot skin smell mixed with banana boat uh, coconut yeah. sunscreen right <laughs> and that was the first time i ever smelled coconut in this whiskey hmm. coconut sunscreen so mix coconut with hot sun mm -hmm. and and hot skin mm -hmm. and a little bit of salt from the salt water see i'm getting coconut and hay less yeah. warm skin so dusty yeah instead it says instead of uh Instead of sun heat. Yeah, like I'm like I'm walking through a freshly cut hay field, and um, I got a little, uh, little coconut. Little... I get that. Yeah. Because we always smell coconut while walking through fresh cut. No, hay no, fields. no. I got like, a little little tropical drink. <laughs> yeah. With, the, with, the, with the umbrella. With the umbrella in the as side. As I walk of it. through. As you walk through hay field. fields of gold, which happens. Shall we? Like Sting does all right. the time. That happens a lot. Every day. 
I would make yeah. a horrible farmer is what we're talking yeah. about. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, there goes Farmer Rex, <laughs> rocking around with his umbrella drink <laughs> again. <laughs> that guy's harvest is always late. Does he have to wear Speedo? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Going for the full effect. Yeah, you really are. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is a very nice whiskey. So in terms of uh, colors, kind of light. So they're not doing artificial coloring. Yeah. Um, a little bit younger. They're doing used casks, evidently. So okay. So this is a whiskey for, for me, sitting on the beach in San Padre Island. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have to go speedos in a hayfield? No, 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 no. Okay. You don't have to be speedos in the hayfield. You can be doing it legitimately somewhere else. Speedos somewhere else. Speedos are happening, by the way. If you're on South Padre Island with a Speedo, then <laughs> I'm choosing a new whiskey adventure. <laughs> All right, for me, mm. ah, you know what? You know what this is? This is what you go to. You go to um, top of Mo Mount Bonnell. Ah, huh? okay. In Austin. You're in, in Austin. Austin. Mount yeah, Bonnell. Nice view. Yeah. Nice view. You're not actually doing anything. Nothing extravagant. Just to kind of sit down because this is a uh, a whiskey that you can uh, you know explore a bit. There's there's so you want to there. explore it with a view. Oh yeah. Okay. So you get the uh, the smell and the taste and the, the sight. And now we just need to. Ooh, we need to pick a song to listen to. <laughs> oh. oh, we're yeah. we're doing a playlist. Mm. Oh, mm. the whiskey playlist. We're That's doing amazing. amazing. We're doing a mixtape, dude. But it's not gonna happen. I don't want to put in that much. Room. Yeah. All right. Well, until tomorrow, may you're crazy. Stay this side of legal. And may you return before we have time to miss you. Cheers. Cheers.